Well, you guys asked for it, here it is. Today, as you read in the title, I'm going to be rating every single Mancera fragrance in my entire collection. The total number... This fragrance journey begins right now. Let's go. people once again welcome back to my channel uh, in case you missed it I'm gonna be rating every single Mancera fragrance in my collection 52 bottles let's jump in and get it started I'm not gonna get real deep into how these fragrances smell I if I did that the video would be nine years long so I'm only gonna give you a tiny bit of what to expect and then we're gonna move on all right also of note don't make the mistake in thinking that because there are 52 bottles in this collection that number 52, 50, 51, 49, whatever, are going to be bad smelling fragrances. Remember, if a fragrance is in my collection, it's in there for a reason. The reason is I love the smell of it. If I don't love the smell of it, the fragrance is gone. Not in my collection. So, 52 may not smell as good as one, but it does smell damn good. Every single one of them. Let's go. Coming in at number 52. Boom. Boom. Amber and Roses. Now, I will tell you that I'm just throwing this number out there. I have not studied it. I don't know. I didn't count them. Whatever. I'm going to say that probably 75% of every single Mancera fragrance has a rose note therein. I can tell you right now unequivocally without, the shadow, without a shadow of a doubt that this baby right here is by far the most authentic. You spray this on your skin and it literally would be just like you took a rose, picked it off the bush, opened it, and just smeared it all over your skin. That's exactly how authentic it is. It is rose. Deep dark rose. Deep dark amber. Amazing. That's at number 52. Moving on. Number 51. Gold Intensive Oud. This is kind of an aquatic, uh, rosy, little bit oody. I have some like uh, really tart citruses in there, specifically lemon. Um, really nice fragrance, powerful. Very, it, it's kind of like a, um, it's a dark woody fragrance with some fresh undertones. Incredible. Gold intensive oud. That's a number 51, next up 50. Number 50. The Oud. What you're going to have here, people, is a very Oudy. I mean, this is aptly named big time. Very Oudy fragrance right here. Um, it's going to be very spicy. You're going to have some black pepper, some cinnamon, some cloves. It's even, even going to be a little bit leathery and musky. Lots of woods, lots of Oud. Uh, it's just a, a really powerful, potent, potent bastard. I wore this to the gym and it literally filled it up. It filled it up. Not even joking. And I only did like five sprays that morning. Anyway, that's number 50, the Oud. All right, number 49 is this baby right here. Pink Prestigium. I know what you're thinking. Look at that pink bottle. Oh, it's feminine. Stop it. Get that crap out of here. No such thing. We've been through that. But if you must know, if you're fooled by the pink color, let me, let me straighten you out right now. This is a grapefruit bomb right here. Straight up friggin' grapefruit. As soon as you spray this on your skin, you're going to be wow, blown away by grapefruit. You literally will feel like you're walking to a Florida grapefruit orchard. It's, all, it's also going to have some bergamot. It's going to have a bite, really big teeth with uh, black currant. Smooth out with a little bit of leather and definitely some oud. A little bit skanky, but very, very, very citrusy. 49. Pink Prestigium. Number 48. Bang. Roses and chocolate. What I call this, people, is Valentine's Day in a friggin' bottle. Done. It smells just like the name implies. 
big roses, big chocolate. It literally smells like you walked into a friggin' a florist, grabbed a dozen roses, and, and grabbed a, a big hot with a bunch of chocolates in there, opened them up, throw them on the table, boom, there it is. Roses and chocolate, my 48th favorite Mansara fragrance. Number 47, Wild Leather. You already know about it. If I didn't explain it to you, I'll do it again. My girl Tina sent me a sample of this, pretty sizable one too, she's awesome. Check her channel out, The Critical Virgo. Anyway, she sent me a sample of this, I gagged. Just like I said before, I grew to love it, I still love it. Yeah, it's low down on the list, but don't let that fool you. This is an incredible fragrance. Wild leather, it's definitely leathery, big time leather, with citruses and florals. Definitely skanky, you're gonna smell. Hey, you remember that group, uh, uh, Vanity Six? Remember, remember Vanity Six? That's exactly what this fragrance smells like, something. It, it smells like a leathery, uh, I don't know, there's no better way I can say it. It smells like a trollop clad in leather from head to friggin' toe. Mm. I love her. Anyway, that's the 47th favorite fragrance from this house, Wild Leather. All right, the 46th favorite fragrance from this house to me is Pink Roses. Yeah, once again, I know guys, I know, I know. The bottle's pink. It has pink in the name and it's got roses in the name. It's gotta be feminine. But get the fuck out of here. Not even close. Another citrus bomb. You may think it's feminine. You may think it's like extremely floral. Forget about it. This is all citrus right here. And it's a monster. Pink Roses. That's at number 46. Alright, coming in at number 45. Wild Python. This has a ton of tuberose in there. Alright. And for those of you who know me and know my style, you know I can't stand tuberose. Hate that friggin' note. Can't stand it. However, like I've always said, if it's if it's blended well with other notes, I'll literally suck it up. This I don't have to suck up because it's that good. It is floral. Don't take, you know, don't get it twisted. It's definitely floral. But it's not the type of floral that, you know, guys can't pull off. If you're that type of guy and, you know, you're, you're worried about your uh, your masculinity. Forget it. The big player in here, bergamot, right? So it's gonna be, again, it's gonna be a citrus bomb. There is gonna be some musk in there, so it's gonna get musky, a little bit skanky, but it's definitely an amazing fragrance. Wild Python, that's coming in at number 45. Moving on. All right, this one I gotta smell. Hold on a sec. Oh, man. Whew. All right, next up. Wild Rose Oud. Hmm. If Amber and Roses is the most authentic rose smelling fragrance from Mansara, this is a close second. Big time Roses, big time Oud. That's it. That is exactly what it is. It's in the name. That's all you need to know. Wild Rose Oud. Very rosy, very Oudy. That's at number 44, next up 43. All right, number 43, this baby right here, black line. Um, another musky, leathery, rosy beauty, beautissimus fragrance right here. Amazing, absolutely amazing, powerful, all powerful, long lasting. Two sprays, you're squared away. You're going to be filling ballrooms with this one. You never hear this one talked about. Never hear about this one. I don't know why, whatever, more for me. Black line, that's a number 43, next up 42. Alright, coming in at number 42, Gold Oud. This is a hot mess. An absolute hot mess. But I love it. Big conglomeration of notes therein. It's going to be leathery, it's going to be fruity, it's going to be woody, it's going to be musky, it's going to be ambery, it's going to be spicy. You name it, it's in here. Very Oudy though. Um, very hard, very challenging, one of the most challenging fragrances from this house, but it smells absolutely phenomenal. Gold Oud, moving on. 
Next up is number 41, and it is Pearl. Another stunner. <sighs> Lots of fruit in this one, guys. Um, green apple. You're going to have peaches, bergamot, and, and very figgy. Very figgy. This is, this is like almost a fig bomb right here. Does have roses, does have jasmine, and it is a little bit musky. A very powerful fragrance. Pearl. Moving on to 40. All right, here is number 40, Hindu Kush. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna tell you about this one, guys, is um, if you're not riding dirty, don't get pulled over by the cops because they're gonna think you are. But only for the first, I don't know, five, six minutes, it's gonna be hot and heavy with cannabis and then it literally jumps off the cliff. Then what you're left with is spices, smoke, and amber. Stunning fragrance right here, Hindu Kush. Coming in at number 40, next up, 39. My 39th favorite, Mancera. Musky Garden. My God. And one you never hear about. I don't know why. Again, I have no idea. This is so freaking good. Very fruity. You're talking like citruses, like grapefruit, oranges, bergamot. You have cranberries in here, raspberries and blackberries just a, a, a stunning has a little bit of skanking you know at the end of it with the you know the uh, musk and the patchouli but this is very very fruity and very skanky i love this one musky garden that's a number 39 next up 38. number 38 is this baby right here oud black candy what can you expect from this minty licorice Sweet notes, florals, a little bit of rose, amber, musky. Mostly candy. What you see is what you get. Oody with candy. Done. There's really not any oud in here, so I don't know where they get the name oud black candy from. There's no oud in it. At least from what I'm reading. I don't detect it either, but it is very, very skanky with that musk. That musk is really skanky. Skanked out big time. Lots of candy in here. Like you literally walk into a candy store when you wear this one. But it's got that musk in there that keeps it honest and not, it's definitely not sweet because the, the sweet notes in here are not you know, the cloying type. It's amazing. Oud Black Candy, moving on. Okay, this is moving out, moving in. Number 37, Holidays. Um, this is a very sweet, very tropical fragrance. It was in my uh, 40 Tropical Fragrances, locations, blah, blah, whatever video. Um, reminds you of the tropics. Very, very sweet. I mean, very sweet. If you're one of those guys, remember, I know one, you know who I'm talking about. You're one of those guys, you don't like sweet fragrances, step away. It's gonna hurt you. Holidays at number 37. Moving on. Number 36. Oud Lemon Mint. Yeah. Very lemony, very oody, very minty. However, it's also going to be spicy, and you're also going to get almonds in here as well. Not to mention citruses, and it's got some teeth in there with the vetiver, and it's sweetened up with some vanilla. Um, very, very powerful. This one is, woo, got to be careful on the trigger with this one, or it's going to knock people over. Oud lemon mint, that's coming in at number 36, next up 35. Number 35, is this monstrosity? Blue oud. I don't know about two people that even have this fragrance. I know there's more, but you never hear it talked about. Very, very challenging fragrance right here. Um, I don't know where they get the oud. There's no oud in it. I don't know where they get the blue. There's no blue in it. The big player in here, big player, tarragon. Also, you're going to have spices and saffron. There is some rose in here and it's musky and leathery. But again, the big player, you spray this, instant tarragon. I love it. Moving on. 34. Rose is greedy. Tropical. This reminds me, I went down to Miami. And it literally reminds, I don't know, I, probably because I took it with me. But it reminds me of Miami. Very tropical. Coconut, peaches, you have some oranges in there. Mandarin oranges to be uh, specific. Black currant has some bite to it. Big florals, you're going to have a big floral bouquet. Roses, you're also going to have... Uh, uh, some jasmine in there, sweetened up with vanilla. Skanked up with a little bit of musk. Also going to have the note of sugar. Awesome. 
Rose is greedy. Moving on. Number 33. Boom. Wild fruits. Another tropical fruit bomb. People um, compare this to Silver Mountain Water from Creed. Couldn't tell you. All I can tell you is, it is an absolute fruit bomb. Look it up if you want to see how many are in there. Way too many for me to mention. It's just a, a giant basket of fruits. Very, very tropical. And that's coming in at number 33. Moving on. Big number 32. Roses Jasmine. Another one you don't hear about. I said it before and I'll say it again. What's in the name? Roses Jasmine. Huge players. However, they do have a pretty good supporting cast. Grasses, lemons, pears, mandarin oranges, some patchouli to skank it out a little bit, and some woods and some musk. A little bit of moss in there too. Unflippin' believable. A potent basset. This thing lasts forever. And my God, does it smell good. Oh, it's killing me. Roses, Jasmine, that's a 32 moving on. Number 31. Jardin Exclusif. I'm stunned. Absolutely stunned. Another fruit bomb with caramel. Okay, this has caramel in it. Not to mention a little bit woody, some florals. Pears, green apples, peaches. It's, I mean, it's not as fruity as, as the notes might lead you to believe. It's more musky than anything else. Um, and a little bit woody as well. Rounded out by florals and then it gets really sweet with the caramel. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Jardin Exclusif. Next up, dirty. Number 30, another one you don't hear talked about a lot. This is Oud Sand Roses. Man, if I did another video with the most powerful Mansara fragrances, which is what I might do, this is gonna be way up there. This it doesn't have any Oud in the note breakdown. It's very spicy, very musky. You're gonna have some fruit in there. You know, geranium, saffron, black pepper. It's amazing and it's so powerful. I wore this to the gym again because I wear these to the gym all the time. Fills them up. Fills up the gym with aroma. It was amazing. Everybody loved it on me. Oud Sand Roses, moving on. All right, number 29 is this baby right here. Oud Exclusif. This is an oriental bomb, guys. Very oudy. Very skanky, very spicy, and there's even some powder in there. I think that's the labdanum, if I make no mistake. It smells powdery. That's the only thing I can think of. And it's also, um, it also has a cumin note, so if you're not into that, forget about it. You're not going to like it, but that doesn't play a big role. The big role in here, oriental notes, oud. Absolutely fantastic. Also, um, secondary player, uh, the saffron. Incredible. That's why it is at number 29, moving on to 28. Number 28, black to black. I've had this fragrance for years. Look how much of it is still left. Why? Because it is a freaking nuclear bomb. I swear guys, one spray you put this on, you're squared away. Any more than one spray, people die. It's that simple. What you have in here. Another saffron bomb, very oody. It's got some leather in there, sweetened up a little bit with um, you know that ambery note. And for what good it's gonna do, you're gonna have some jasmine in here, but it's getting smothered by all these heavy hitters. Black to black, absolutely incredible, potent as all get out. Be careful on the trigger. Moving on. Twenty-seven. Red tobacco. You want to talk about potent, done. You like tobacco, you're going to love this. Sweet, unsmoked pipe tobacco. It's got incense in there. It's got some pears. It's got some nutmeg. It's got some green apple. It's got a crap ton of musk. Very, very hardcore. Potent, cinnamon, un, you know, like an unsmoked pipe tobacco uh, accord going on in there that's just going to literally almost smother everything. However, don't get it twisted. All the other notes that I mentioned, detectable, but the big player here obviously is a tobacco. Absolutely incredible. Moving on. Number 26, my 26th favorite Mansara. 
in terms of scent is Oud S. Spicy Leva. Ylang Ylang. Obviously Oud. Roses, there's even violet in there. The um, jasmine is, is, is noticeable, but not much. This is a powerhouse right here. Absolute freaking powerhouse and the smell out of this world. 26, Oud S, moving on to 25. Next up is number 25, Wild Cherry. Once again, what's in a name? It's all about cherries, people. And that's, I reviewed this, so that's all I'm gonna say about it. Check out my review if you wanna, you know, in-depth uh, analysis of this fragrance. What I can just, what I, again, all I'll say is, if you like cherries, this is your fragrance. But it does smell fantastic. And that's why it's at number 25, moving on to 24. Now, number 24, Look, look at that beautiful bottle. That's called Purple Flowers. Now, um, it's definitely an Oriental. Um, but in terms of notes, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of fig in there. You're going to have some uh, ginger. It's spicy, nutmeg, um, you know, Sicilian mandarin. Um, it's skanked out with patchouli, sweetened up with vanilla, obviously rose, woods, musk, uh, ambergris. Um, very, very busy, but my God, does it smell good. And again, for you guys... Don't let the name fool you. It's not that type of fragrance. Believe me, it's a beauty. And that's at number 24, moving on to 23. All right, and coming in at number 23, Roses Vanille. Mm, another absolutely incredible fragrance from this house. Notes included some roses, sugar, uh, water notes, you know, aquatic notes, you're gonna have lemons, Woods, it's gonna be sweetened up even more with vanilla as well as the sugar. And then you're gonna have a musky undertone. Roses Vinny, moving on to 22. All right, coming in at number 22, that monstrosity right there, Gold Prestigium. Um, the note breakdown in this is almost simple. The oud in here is barely detectable. This is just a very sweet, not wicked sweet, because it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to have the sweet edges uh, shaved off um, by the black pepper as well as the leather. But it's just, this is indescribable how good this smells. Um, I can't do it any justice. Gold Prestigium, that's number 22. Moving on. Number 21, number 21. Boom. Vini Exclusive. Now, you know... <laughs> When I smell this, you know, after already putting this list together, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mad at myself. This should have been a little bit higher, but it is what it is. You're going to have some really sexy notes in here. Vanilla, you're going to have uh, violet, jasmine, a little bit of Indian tuberose, osmanthus. And if that isn't enough, it's going to be sweetened up with vanilla. And if that isn't enough, you're going to have some peaches, caramel, and whipped cream. Man, you talk about an awesome fragrance. This is it. That's a number 21. Moving on to 20. All right, and coming in at number 20. Most favorite man series. Oud Cafe. Beautiful coffee note. It's going to have some black currants, some peaches. Excellent floral bouquet. Then it's going to have a uh, uh, some candy, sweet candy notes. I talked about this in one of my previous videos eons ago where I talked about being in the Florida Keys where uh, we went to a wildlife um, sanctuary. I can't remember the name of it right now. But anyway, um, I was walking inside of the building uh, to see an animal show or something like that and um, a lady walked by me. She turned around and, and she came back and she said, oh my God, I don't know what you're wearing. She said, but your cologne smells absolutely incredible. And she said, I, and, and the funny part is, I don't even like cologne. But she loved this one. And with good reason. Maybe she was used to smelling crap. I don't know. She loved this one. I can't blame her. Oud Cafe, amazing fragrance. That's coming in at number 20. Next up is 19. All right, and here's number 19. Oud Vinny. 
what's in a name, right? Lots of oud, lots of vanilla. Both of them keep each other in check so it's not too oudy and it's not too vanilla -y. There you go. Florals in there as well, some woodsy notes, a little bit spicy, saffron as well. The scent here is just, it's mind-boggling. Anyway, that's it. 19, Ouvigny, next up, 18. All right, my 18th favorite Mancera is right there. Indian Dream. Holy sweet freaking mother of Oh my God. Anyway, a big player in here, Heliotrope. You're gonna get pummeled with it. And if that isn't enough, it's gonna have a little bit of bite with some uh, um, Haitian vetiver. Also gonna be a little bit sparkling with the, ger uh, with the geranium. And then it's gonna be rosy. You're gonna have some jasmine in there, some musk, uh, and, and very, very, very ambery with a little bit of orange blossom. Oh, man, it's to die for. Very slept on, like I say, every time this bottle gets in front of the camera, I say the same thing, and I'll say it again. Very, very underrated and slept on. You wear this, you're in business. 18, Indian Dream, moving on. Number 17 is an old ass bottle. This was my very, very first Mansara purchase 411 years ago. Sand Oud. Absolutely stunning. Let me tell you quickly about this one. Sweet, spicy, incense. There you go. That's all I got for you. Throw some fruit in there. You know, to give it that little bit of a bite. You know, that tangy black currant. You smell just like you're walking on a friggin' uh, sandy dune with a friggin' oasis just over the hill. And there's where you're gonna camp under a palm tree in Max. Sand dude, moving on to 16. All right, this is another beauty. You like chocolate? Boom. One of the best chocolates from the Mansara house. Choco Violetta or Choco Violet, if you don't speak French, whatever, I don't know, I don't speak it. Chocolate, vanilla, hazelnuts, citruses, done. Incredible, sweet as hell, but not cloying. Everybody loves this. This is a sexy ass fragrance right here. Beautiful, Choco Violetta, moving on to 15. All right, number 15. Boom. More chocolate, more vanilla. Only this time, you're gonna have a basket of fruits therein, not to mention the frangipani note, which is gonna give it, I mean, just a, a beautiful floral bouquet. Wanna have some sweet and savory? I talked about this one in one of my uh, previous videos. Sweet and savory, throw some table salt in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Sweet as hell, but delicious. Wild candy. Next up, 14. All right. Next up is Oud Violet, my 14th favorite. Man, Sarah, you want to talk about a potent... Look at this is a freshie. All right? Forget about the Oud. This is a freshie. Blows your mind with the longevity and the projection. Blows your mind. You will literally have people running for the hills if you overspray this. And yeah, it's a freshie. Oud Violet. That's a number 14. Next up, 13. Number 13 is this monster, Black Prestigium. Incredible, absolutely incredible. This is a hardcore fragrance right here. Oudy, rosy, leathery, done. It, I cannot even begin to describe to you how good this smells. Just stunning. That's why it's at number 13. Black Prestigium, next up, 12. All right, as promised, number 12, Oud Blue Notes. Another stunner. Another freaking stunner. Now, Oud Blue Notes is a combination of a lot of fruits, specifically citrus fruits and florals. Um, kind of tropical, uh, leathery, a little bit skanky down at the end of this fragrance and sweet. Um, again, uh, I don't know where they get the Oud. It's not in here. Doesn't really matter. It's absolutely stunning. Oud Blue Notes, next up. 
All right, here we go with number 11, guys. Black Intensity Wood. You want to talk about potent, look no further. This is a spicy peach fragrance with florals, specifically roses and jasmine. Also has some saffron and some woods. Oud in here, very prominent, very prominent. Two, three sprays, no more than that. That's all you need. Very, very potent. Again, I've had this for years. Look at the level. That'll give you an idea of how powerful it is. Next up is number 10. Okay, we are now gonna crack the top 10 and I gotta tell you, by far, the hottest top 10 ever. I, this is why it took me so long to make this video. I probably spent more time on the top 10 than the other 42 combined. These are that good, wicked, wicked hard, but there has to be order. It's just like the infantry, whore. Let's go. Number 10, black vanilla. Incredible. Coconut, black currant, peaches. You're gonna have some musk in there. Uh, violet, roses, jasmine, and it's gonna be sweetened up big time with obviously vanilla. I reviewed it, look at it. It'll tell you all you need to know. Absolutely incredible fragrance. That's at number 10, moving on to number nine. Man, I, you know, I gotta tell you, if I had to do this again tomorrow, it would probably be different. These are so interchangeable, but whatever. It is what it is. Number nine, Royal Vanilla. Four notes listed, guys. That's it. Violet, patchouli, amber, vanilla. I cannot even begin to describe to you how amazing this stuff is. Cannot even begin to describe to you. But there it is. Moving on. Next up is number eight. And here it is. Precious Oud. Absolute insanity. This is the only boozy Oud I have ever smelled in my life. And it is a good one. When I say boozy, I'm talking whiskey, my friends. Leathery whiskey. Laotian Oud. Vanilla. Magnolia. Roses. I mean, there's just a, a ton, a ton of notes in here. But one of my favorites, tiramisu. Not joking. I'm going to review this. That's all I'm saying. Moving on. All right, here we go. Number seven. This reminds me of a Prince song, Controversy. And there's why. C'est très One of the most controversial, I said it before, I'll say it again. Controversial fragrances. Everybody who's an Aventus fanboy, you know, gets pissed at you when you say, oh, it smells like uh, Aventus. Whatever. I, I really don't get that a lot. I mean, I, it, it, it's got the same type of vibe, but you can literally tell them apart like that. It's, it's, it's easy to do. People are going to get mad at me, but I don't care. This is an incredible fragrance. It's not a Ventus, but it doesn't have to be. It's its own fragrance. It's got its own niche. doesn't care about a Ventus. Black currant in here, it smells of tropics. It smells of tropical fruit, pineapple. It's absolutely stunning. And that's why it's at number seven. Moving on. My sixth most favorite smelling Mancera is that beauty right there, Sole de Tali. I mean, dude. Um, big bag of citruses, aquatic, uh, skanky, a little bit skanky with the patchouli and the musk. Um, a tad bit of woods and the spicy with the pink pepper. Absolutely incredible. I can't say enough about it. I already reviewed it. Check it out. That's at number six. Moving on to five. Number five, I already called it greatest citrus fragrance I've ever smelled in my life, Sicily. Absolutely stunning. I cannot, I mean, it's, it's indescribable. You like citruses, you owe it to yourself to put, this, to put this on your nose. Incredible. That's all I can tell you. I reviewed it. Take a look at it. Next up, number four. All right, number four made a lot of noise when it first burst onto the scene. It has fizzled out big time. Okay with me. 
that just means more for me. Black Gold. This is another insanely good fragrance. Crispy citruses, oud. You're gonna have some water notes in there, like sea notes. Jasmine, beautiful bouquet of uh, florals uh, to include rose and, and, and violet. And then it's gonna have a little bit of leather in there and cinnamon, not to mention lavender. You've not smelled anything like this. Absolutely incredible. Fourth best in the entire house. Next up three. My third best smelling Mancera, a lot of you are going to be very, very shocked to see if this made it so high on the list, but I promise you, it is good. Fantastic, to be precise. Gold incense. It's coffee with incense, florals, and a little bit of citrus. Sweetened up with some, with some vanilla, a little bit skanky with patchouli and musk. Absolutely incredible. That's why it is my third favorite. Best smelling man Sam fragrance. Next up, number two. Number two, you probably already know what it is. I reviewed it. Take a look at it if you forgot or you didn't see it. Velvet Vanilla. Holy sweet mother of God. Plethora of notes therein. If you missed my review, go ahead and check it out. You'll get first hand account of what this fragrance does absolutely incredible in fact there is only one fragrance from the entire house of Mancera that is superior to this one this was my number one for a long time not anymore you probably already know what number one is if it don't stand by number one 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 all right here is number one baby new heavyweight champion of the Mancera world and it is the absolute stunner. Instant Crush. I reviewed this one. Very aptly named. Bunch of citruses, amberwood, saffron, rose. Little bit skanked out. Very skanked out, in fact. Some might say that this smells like um, Baccarat Rouge 540. I reviewed it. Check out my review if you want to see what it's all about. I don't think it does, I mean, yeah, initially it does, it, it, it's very similar, but as soon as it hits your skin, brother, it's gone in a completely different direction, at least that's on my skin. This is it right here, the number one, my favorite Mancera ever, Instant Crush. I hope you guys enjoyed this, tell me what I missed, maybe I should have shuffled some stuff around, I don't know, you tell me, but to me, this is it. My next review is soon, I'll talk to you later. I swore like Wayne Gretzky, Cooper like Joe Pesci. When I grab the microphone in the black, it gets messy. You're nervous like a cherry on the Staten Island ferry. Step to me and you wind up in a damn mortuary. My style is lethal, like Danny Glover. You make a lot of noise, but you don't move like an Apache set to hover. I'm not like those wannabes who have to flash their CDs just to get a piece of ass from a bunch of damn groupies. Before I made a CD and hit the markets, girls are all over me like flies on the K. Will to beast pockets. You know it's true, you ignoramus. Before your deal, you couldn't get laid at a monkey whorehouse with the back of a dentist. And now you're a player? Get out of here, it's played out. You so don't wanna piss me off, I swear you'll get laid out. Even if I'm standing sensical, what? you ignominious and methodical MCs couldn't touch me with tentacles. Body's over, screw it, beat it. And don't sleep on me, no. What the f I look like a silly pasta pita? You can't get this dog, what you thinking? This ain't Dino Land, but for we can see, show it's a cat down to a stick. Hey. My style is unorthodox.